Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, in this episode, I would like to discuss the changes that have occurred in C++ 20 when it comes to constexpr algorithm support. Now, in C++ 20, uh, basically all of the algorithms have become constexpr. And to really like show you what this means, we're going to use cppreference.com and we're going to click on the algorithms library. And if you look at these things, uh, I mean, there's so many algorithms and really getting a handle on like what all the algorithms are that were added over the last several releases of C++ is a bit difficult in itself. But as always, the great cppreference.com resource here uh, shows us this, that we've got um, what algorithms were added in 11 and 17 and 20. Uh, but this doesn't give you the full story. So if we take, let's take some random algorithm, let's take generate, for example. We can see here that the algorithm came uh, into existence pre um, standardization. It was in C++ 98. We see this until C++ 20 here. And then we have this version that says, since C++ 20, this little keyword right here was added, constexpr. And this is really powerful. So we can use basically all of the C++ algorithms in a constexpr context in C++ 20. We can see fill was made constexpr. We can see that the swap utility and the swap algorithms were made constexpr. They existed up until C++11 and, uh, and then they were you know swapped out with constexpr versions in C++20. Replace, uh, we just see this all over the place time and again that we've got constexpr versions of these things. So before C++20 if you wanted to do a constexpr compile time sorting of data because uh, having sorted data was important for other aspects like you wanted to be able to do a search over these elements then you need to have something that's sorted so that you can do an efficient search over the elements in it uh, for example or maybe you just need to be able to search from the least to the greatest of some sort of a requirement over your data set. So, you know, having it sorted is really helpful. And this is something that I've been using in my uh, constexpr R emulator that I've shared on the show in the past. And uh, we just saw here a sample added in C17. It uses a random number generator, not currently constexpr. That's, I think, because the random number uh, generators are not constexpr, although they definitely could be. That is something that we have also shown in this videos here uh, is constexpr compile time randomly generated data sets. If you want to give it a fixed seed value, then that actually has some meaning. And it's something that I'm actually planning to play again with soon in the near future, although I'm not certain yet if it'll end up as a C++ weekly episode. Now, not all of the algorithms are in the algorithms header. Some of them are in the numeric header, so let's scroll down here to Accumulate. Now we can see, unfortunately, Accumulate missed this update for C++20 for constexpr, and it's a really versatile algorithm, so that's a bit of a shame, but we're still getting an awful lot. So let's just do a quick demo of what this looks like. So I want to do a compile time sorted set of data. And I'm in C++20 mode, and I'm using GCC trunk. So let's just roll with it, shall we? So we're given some sort of container of data and we want to sort it. All right. We have our algorithm header we, that gives us sort and it should give us begin and end, although we don't have anything that we're using here. Let's go ahead and return this data. I am using C20's auto concept here and let's go ahead and create some compile time sorted range of data. Now granted 
if it's this simple and short of a set of data, it's only five elements, this is really something that we could easily just do manually sort it. But um, I try to use your imagination and think of data that you might have in your real code where you would need to actually have a larger set of data and making sure that it is sorted at compile time and having this guarantee is important to you. So if I wanted to, I can static assert. And I can now have, the, like this code can't compile if this isn't sorted. And as you can see, this is compiling all along here. And if I want to return from main the zeroth element of my sorted data, I know that's going to be the value one. And we will see here that one is returned from EIX. So go out, have fun, play with this, look at the const expert algorithms that are now supported in C20. At the moment of this recording, this is GCC trunk is the only thing that currently has this, but it's on Compiler Explorer. That's godbolt.org, if by any chance you don't know that website. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you enjoyed it.